always weird. Welcome back to Let's Play Off. We have now have access to the room. But before we go there, maybe there's uh, there's a bit of side questing stuff that we can do, starting at Zone Zero. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and see if we can find the Zachary. I haven't seen Pablo for some time now. I hope he's fine. I realize that that's not the voice I gave him before. But I'm not feeling horribly great right now, so be patient with me. It's not a whole lot of stuff we can buy for now, but... Whoop. very least, I want to get everyone new weapons. <clears throat> oh, then. Let's see if we can begin the side questing. <clears throat> now, for the side quest episodes... As I'm sure you've probably noticed already, looking at the time signature below, <clears throat> I'm going to do these all... I'm going to do each zone in one episode. Now, what happens when you clear a zone, as I believe I've mentioned before, <clears throat> given that um, that chest there was empty, is it turns black and white and becomes empty. And new enemy, and all the specters from before disappear, but new enemies reappear in their place called secretaries. Now, not a lot is known about the secretaries as far as in game, as far as in game lore goes. <clears throat> um, and there's a lot of people that have theorized about them and what they could be. Personally. I don't know. I don't think about it that much. Um, now, if you go to a zone just after clearing it, the secretaries will be very powerful compared to you, unless you level grind. <clears throat> Though they won't be so powerful to the point that you can't level grind off them. <clears throat> so what ends up happening is the game kind of ushers you to the next zone using the secretaries, as you can see here. Now, the secretaries aren't that strong compared to how I am now, <clears throat> but they can be a nuisance, especially in later zones. However, once you get Epsilon, they aren't that difficult to play with. Perhaps a bit time-consuming, yes, but not difficult. Now, there's not really too much for me to talk about as far as the zones, as far as purified zones go. 
Um, but the reason you want to come here is that once it's been purified, each zone has a new key item that you can find in there. And there are, I believe, five of these key items. But one of them you can't buy until until the very... Or one of them you can't get until the very end of the game. But we're doing this now. Half as filler because I'm really not feeling up to voicing the stuff that... To voicing or commentating the stuff that happens in the room. <clears throat> And half because it's nice to get things done early. I'm just gonna auto these fights from here on, because it doesn't really matter. If I wanted to, I could just, like, plow through them with normal attacks, but that'd take too long. <clears throat> now with the zones or with purified zones. Um, you know, this is... This episode is side-questing. So, honestly, if you want to skip it and just wait till I start the room, then by all means, go ahead. I'll be spending the next few weeks just doing purified zones until I've done all three of them. And the third one's gonna be a pretty big pain in the ass. But hey, I'm up to it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, and then there's these puzzles that appear. Uh, at this point, they're pretty much obligatory to appear in every game. Or in every RPG. Uh, shit. Is there even a way to get out? Nope. Okay. So I did the wrong thing there. To go this way to get out, it seems. Okay. Well, there was a chest there that I missed out on. I'll grab it later off screen, I guess. If I remember to. Well, maybe there's a way to go back and get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well, if I remember to get it, it won't be hard to get to. <clears throat> uh, purified zones are pretty short compared to doing the actual zones themselves. Because it's mostly just wandering around. Um. So, yeah. The only real big worry you're probably going to have doing them is just figuring out shit. Or, not figuring out shit, but, um, secretaries. And they don't really appear that often, just often enough to be annoying. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just easily plow through the ones in the first zone. Once you hit the point we're at right now. It's only the ones in zone 3 that are horrifying. But they're still not as bad as the bonus boss we'll be facing at the end of all this. <coughs> and then once we get, um... And then once we get, what is it, uh, all of the key items that we're looking for, then we gain access to some cool stuff, I think. But, have it carrying on funny part is, is that this episode might actually be about the same length as the normal ones. Not gonna lie. Might actually be. I don't think it will be. I think it'll probably be either a tad longer or a tad shorter. But it could be. <clears throat> Two eyes store 
health. Uh, you could go over to those, but it's not really worth your time. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can actually go back into that place. So I guess we are going this way. Haha. <laughs> Whoop. Pilato. That calls it, but it doesn't call it over there. So now we have to go track it down. Lovely. Oh, well, here it is. Do do do. Think we thankfully, you know, we don't have the weird meat river monsters to attack us anymore. Huh, I didn't know there were taken by surprise attacks in this game. That's interesting. The reason I'm being a bit hush hush about what the items are is because I really, it's because I think it explains them a bit, um, when you actually find one and talk to Zachary. <clears throat> You know, I might actually go grab that item on screen just to show you guys what it is, but I don't think it's anything really at all that interesting. <coughs> Though I'm debating it because, you know, the warp point is right there, so, you know, whatever. And huzzah, a Monday has been found, and the grand finale has been found. Oh, well, that's weird. Anywho, here's a Monday that protects you from crits. Um, I guess I will give that to Epsilon. Let's see. And the grand finale, a bizarre object associated with plastic. Alright. <clears throat> now we save. And just for the sake of this not being a short episode, I guess I can show off what that item is. And see if there's anything I missed. I don't think there is. <clears throat> And then we can head over to Zachary and update our equipment. Have you ever noticed how weird his hand, his back, er, his front arm is when he walks? Like the one facing the screen. Kinda has this little bend to it that, uh, that doesn't really look natural. Only well, really appears when he's walking, um, sideways, though. I know, it, it's it's completely random and just off kilter, but whatever. <clears throat> Not off kilter, just random. But hey, we're talking about me here, so whatever. <sighs> now let's see if I remember how to get back through that maze. To be perfectly honest, maybe I shouldn't be doing this stuff, you know, and let you guys kind of discover it for yourselves if you ever play, but it's just, <clears throat> I do have another thing that I definitely won't be showing you, just because it's kind of cool and I think it would be best for you to kind of earn it yourself, but... That and I that and you get a choice 
that and it's one of the two things you get to choose from when you're done collecting all these key items. But basically you get the choice between a neat little cutscene after you beat the game or equipment. And I'm going to choose equipment because I think you guys want because I think you guys should play through the game yourselves now that you've seen me derp around with it so much. Maybe find shit that I missed or left out. <coughs> and and see that little neat cutscene for yourselves. Cuz I don't want to ruin that surprise. Because hey, I may be an elf here who makes who's more or less job is to fuck, I think I just messed it up. Nope, we're good. Two jokers. Yeah, nothing interesting. But yeah, I may oh god damn it. I may be an LP here and all that, but you know. There are some ethical LP peers out there who do want you to discover things for yourself. And that's fine really is. Though I'm kind of curious as to what happens if you do try and auto the judge at the beginning of the game. Because <clears throat> he says not to. And I'm just kind of curious to know what happens. Oh well. If you guys ever play the game, tell me what happens. I'm kind of curious. Yeah. This is kind of getting to be a long episode, though, because of my explanation of random shit. But that's okay. I said that these would probably be a bit long. And to be honest, this one is artificially extended. The others will probably be about the same length, just because Zone 1 is actually pretty small. <coughs> just one? Okay. Okay. By the way, ever noticed how this secretary has the number one on its whatever it's wearing? Kinda neat, isn't it? Huh? And return to the nothingness. We'll go back to zone zero. Go ahead and update our equipment a bit. Alright, oh, you can't do that in this game. Damn it. Oh, really? There's already better equipment? Okay. Uh, sure. Why not? There's still some other stuff we can get. I am having problems, but don't mind me, I'm always having problems. As I'm sure you guys know, have noticed from watching this, these videos, or even worse if you've noticed them from fucking Pokemon Red. Jesus Christ, that was a terrible LP. Oh, I forgot to save, uh, to sell stuff. I can already hear some of you screaming, Why are you doing this? This is wasting our time and artificially extending things. Well, you know what? This is the game. <laughs> Just this. Just talking to Zachary and buying and selling shit from him. <laughs> Just ask Tumblr. The, the only thing this game is, is fucking Zachary. Anyways, next time we do more side questing. <laughs>